Welcome to Sports Night. I'm Justin Zach, alongside Hunter Davidson. And on this edition of Hot Takes, we're going to bring you, to you our craziest predictions for the upcoming NBA season. So preseason just kicked off last week. So I'm exciting. pretty pumped. How My you fair feeling? part of the year, baby. I love it. Get right into it. You know why it's the best part? We got four main sports going at the same time. Hockey, baseball, football, basketball. I'm in heaven. Sports fans dream. All right, so I'm going to kick it off here. Uh, my first hot take is that Zion Williamson will not win the Rookie of the Year. John Morant will. All right, so hear me out. Zion Williamson is the most hyped up rookie prospect since LeBron James. But his current situation limits his opportunities. I'll tell you why. He shares the court with a bunch of solid, young, promising players. Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart. There's also veteran Drew Holiday, who's an all-star caliber player last year, averaged over 21 points per game. If Zion was on a lottery level team like the Grizzlies and the Knicks with no talent, it would be they'd be a lot more reliant on him and I'd sure he'd get a lot more looks. I think you're right. I think Brandon Ingram is gonna emerge as a as a top tier scorer on that team. I think Drew Holiday and Lonzo Ball are gonna be handling the ball a lot. So I, I think it's definitely uh, feasible to see that Zion uh, uh, might not win rookie of the year. That being said, I, I know you saw those preseason dunks, and I know it just got you excited like it got me excited to watch him ball out this year. Yeah, like I said, I think his former AAU teammate and second overall pick, John Morant, will win Rookie of the Year. He's already the most important player on the Grizzlies now that over the summer, uh, Mike Conley got traded to the Jazz. And uh, it's clear that the Grizzlies are handing him the keys to the offense now and that he's going to get a heavy workload and be the focal point of the team. He was a sensational player in college. Uh, last year, he averaged 24 and a half points per game, highest assist rating, and he improved his three-point shot significantly. I think his game will translate really well to the league, and he's got the ultimate green light right now because the Grizzlies are looking bad. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be fun to watch. The Grizzlies, maybe not so fun to watch. I was going to talk about the Western Conference because there's just so much to unpack there. We can talk about Los Angeles all day. Instead, I want to talk about the Philadelphia 76ers, my pick to win the Eastern Conference. Now, I know everybody's talking about Giannis Antetokounmpo coming off his MVP season. There's a lot of hype on the Bucs. Uh, Kawhi Leonard, not on the Toronto Raptors anymore. I know a lot of people are still high on them. I like the Philadelphia 76ers. I'm on the Ben Simmons bandwagon. Uh, I, I saw him make that three-point shot to end the first half. I don't know if it's going to be consistent this year, but I love it. I think Al Horford was a really huge pickup for the Philadelphia 76ers. I think he was very underrated in Boston last year. Jimmy Butler, I'm in Miami now. Uh, I, I think they'll miss him on offense, especially as a perimeter shooter. As far as team chemistry, I think they're going to mesh better without Jimmy. Uh, I'm all in on the on the 76ers bandwagon uh, winning the Eastern Conference. Hey, I like that. I mean, the Bucks took it last year, but the 76ers really are the more talented team. And now that they have two years behind this roster, yeah. I think they're going to have a lot more chemistry. Also, Jimmy Butler's absence hurts, but he's not really a great team player. You there's know, there's a lot of is. personalities on that team. Yeah. I, th I think Jimmy Butler being gone, uh, I think it'll allow him to match better. I think Tobias Harris is really underrated. Yeah, I like that call. He actually goes to my gym at home. Pretty cool <laughs> on Long Island. Who would have thought it? <laughs> never play with him, though. <laughs> the dream. You never hop right. in with uh, Tobias. <laughs> nah, nah. All right, so I'm going to get into my second hot take, and this one's piping hot. I got Nikola Jokic winning the MVP award. The NBA Kia MVP. I saw a statistic. The last two decades, the MVP of the league has been on a team that finished as a top two seed in their conference all but one time. And the best players on, so that means the best players on the top two teams in each conference are most likely gonna win MVP. Wow, there, there are plenty of, there are several players that are better than Nikola Jokic before, but their situations don't really align with them winning the award. Kawhi Leonard, finals MVP last year. That's great, but he's got a new partner in crime. Paul George, the runner-up MVP candidate. They're gonna have to share the ball. LeBron James, got Anthony Davis with him now. James Harden with Russell Westbrook. Now for the East, your Sixers. Could be Joel Embiid, but he's got Simmons right, yeah, right beside him. Giannis is definitely the favorite here. I think the one knock to his game that people may figure out is below average shooting ability, and they're gonna try and limit him by playing him back more. But there is a big man that can shoot. His name's Nikola Jokic. 24-year-old Jokic averaged 20 points, 11 rebounds, and seven assists, and he was also all NBA first team. In fact, he played even better in the postseason, averaging 25, 13, and eight points. The seven-foot Jokic is extremely versatile, being that he's a center who can shoot from behind the arc 
and he's arguably the greatest passing big man we've, we've seen yet. Nuggets finished, in the, finished second in the Western Conference last season. I expect another top two finish as the team has developed excellent chemistry and the young guys like Gary Harris, Jamal Murray, only continue to improve. That being said, this immediately puts the Joker in the conversation, leading the Nuggets to a top two seed once again and taking home the MVP award as a dark horse. Why so serious? <laughs> I like that take. Halloween's I, coming. <laughs> I think the Joker, I think he's very good. Uh, I think there's a lot of solid role players on that, on that Denver team that he can share the ball with. Michael Porter Jr. just came back. I, I would look for Michael Porter Jr. to have a hot rookie year. Uh, I got to ask, who, who's, the, uh, who's the other top two finish in the West if Denver's the other one? Yeah, so I'm going to have to say the Clippers just because I think great coach, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, I think that I think they've suited very well. But like I said, though, they're sharing the ball equally, so I don't know if either of them will be the most valuable player. Well, for my hot well, take, they Justin, might both be better. I have to go under the desk because this take is so hot that what it requires a prop. I'm talking about the most untalked about mover in the NBA offseason, even though he's as exciting as anybody else. Derrick Rose, baby, Detroit Pistons. Here's my hot take. I think this is the first year Derrick Rose might not see the court in all 82 games, but I think his knees stay intact all season, and I think Derrick Rose is an NBA All-Star this year. I think Reggie Jackson, not quite the point guard they needed. I think Derrick Rose in the system with Andre Drummond and Blake Griffin is gonna be really exciting. Big three MVP, Joe Johnson on the team, coming off the bench for some scoring. Look for Derrick Rose to Around 20 points per game, maybe a little less, but I think his assist totals are going to go way up with, with some offensive superstars, and I would look for Derrick Rose, especially with that fan vote this year, to, uh, to claim an all-star spot. Honestly, I, I can see it. I, like, I mean, it's tough because, you know, he's Derrick Rose. Like, he's way past his prime, but... but he, and he's that, still only 31 years old. Right, that's true, that's true. He's really, yeah, it's the injuries. But, like, there are guys he could beat out, though. The East isn't super deep. Like, he's competing with guys, like, for the last spot, maybe, like, a Chris Middleton or something. Like, Goran Dragic. Sure, sure, why not? Uh, I, I think Derrick Rose uh, will, will earn a spot in the NBA All-Star game this year. And those are my NBA hot takes. Love that. That's all we got, I think. Uh, yeah. This has been fun. I'm looking forward to some basketball. Uh, everybody have a great sports night, and go Blue. Peace out.